the Pledge of Allegiance. Remove all hats and hoods, put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey Rosedale, I'm Ashley from your student leadership team. Today, I'm gonna to be telling you what the weather is like gonna be like for the rest of the week. On Monday, there's going to be a high temperature of 90 degrees with a low temperature of 63 degrees. On Tuesday, the high temperature will be 94 degrees. Then the low temperature will be 65 degrees. The next day, on Wednesday, there will be a high temperature of 91 degrees. The low temperature will be a cool 65 degrees. On Thursday, the temperature cools down to an 88 degree high temperature, with the low temperature being 63 degrees. On Friday, there will, um, the high temperature is 85 degrees, with the low temperature being 60 degrees. On Saturday, the high temperature is 84 degrees, and the low temperature is 59 degrees. Stay safe, Rosedale, and have a great week. Good morning, Rosedale Roadrunners. Welcome to your fourth week of distance learning. Today is Monday, and it is our second day of materials pickup. So today, your parents can come pick up from 9 to 11 this morning, or this afternoon from 3 to 4. Um, You've got lots of good things in there, your books, workbooks, and um, spring pictures. Your um, teachers also packed up all your art projects and things like that. So you're going to want to make sure you get it today if you haven't already, okay? Last week we talked about taking care of your mind, your body, and your soul. Um, and today I want you to think about, for your mind, stretching your mind, trying to be a problem solver. And so instead of going, Mom, Mom, I need help! right away, stop yourself and think, how can I do this on my own? And see if you can do it first before you ask for help, okay? The second thing I want to talk to you about is last week I showed you that crazy circuit training and I'm still waiting for some videos from you to sh prove that you listened and that you tried one, so sh um, send me something. But today I wanna to talk to you about how to do planking because when you're sitting there and you're working and you feel like all of a sudden you need a break, just stop and do a plank is super easy. So let me show you. Okay, Rosedale, we're gonna plank it out today. So when you are working, 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 and then you feel like you need a break, a great way to take a break is just by doing a plank. Get off your chair, go to the floor, and plank. So there, I'm gonna show you multiple ways to do a plank so you don't get bored with them. So first of all, you're gonna go down and um, on your elbows, feet out, and you just hold yourself. This is a plank that's as easy as it gets right here. Try to do it for as long as you can. Or you can go up here like this. That gets a little harder. You can do this, which is harder. Or do jacks with your feet. That's it. See how many you can do. See how long you can hold it. Challenge yourself each time to see if you can get better and better and hold yourself longer and longer. Have fun with it. Okay, so the last piece of this is taking care of your soul and um, we're all about kindness, right? So um, I have a new quote for you today. Kindness is doing ordinary things with extraordinary love. And there are lots of things you can be doing around the house to show your extraordinary love. And we have Andrea from our student leadership who's gonna tell you more. Hey Rosedale Roadrunners, it's Andrea from your student leadership. Now, throughout the year, we've been talking about kindness. Now that now that we're at home, it should be no different. Some ways you can be kind include um, helping your mom fold the laundry or helping your siblings out with their homework. You could also help unload the dishwasher or dry the dishes. These are some acts of kindness that you can do to stay kind at home. Make sure to always remember to stay strong and to always strive to be kind. Hey, Rosedale Roadrunners. I'm Lily from your student leadership. So throughout the year, we have been talking about pride. Well, I'm here to tell you about perseverance, the P in pride. Well, how can we show perseverance at home? 
Well, we can show perseverance at home by doing the work that our teachers assigned us and doing the chores that our parents assigned us. We can always show perseverance at home, but we, can, we should do it everywhere we go. Always remember to, st to show perseverance wherever you are. Have a great week, Rosedale. Hey, Rosedale Roadrunners. Now, we've been home for a long time, and we're probably binge-watching a ton of movies, TV shows, and uh, elsewhere. Now, we recommend one show, and that one show is Nailed It. Nailed It is a super funny TV show that they bring three home bakers who don't really know how to bake. And so, it consists of two rounds. Each round, they have to recreate this magical dessert, and the winner takes home $10,000. So, we think you should go check it out. Have a great week, Rosedale. All right, now it's time for our principal shout outs. And I've got quite a few. You guys are out there working so hard. We're so proud of you. Um, I want to start with one that's extra special because it goes with our kindness um, that we're trying to promote. And this is Ella Domel from Le Miss Laporte's class. And um, you know what she did? She went and she wrote notes of encouragement to all of her neighbors and brought them and dropped them off at their front door. And then she decorated her cul-de-sac um, with kindness messages um, with chalk. Isn't that really neat? So we're very proud of her for doing that. Maxwell Kellogg in Miss Jensen's class, he has read five books and taken five AR tests since um, we started distance learning. So great job, Maxwell. And then listen to this. In Miss Pinto's class, we have students who have finished every single assignment every day. Let me see, this is a long list. Here we go. Logan, Miley, Matthew, uh, Jaden, Maddie, Riley, Kaylin, H, Ziggy, Isabella, Jordan, Jody, Rocky, Ricardo, Kalani, and Maya. So, so proud of you. And uh, next we've got Miss Jensen's class. These are students who have also finished every assignment. We have Ella Hayden F, Hayden H, Lexi, Evelyn, James, Valerie, Max, Zoe, and Vivian. So, so proud of you. You guys keep it up. You're doing great work. And um, here is Miss Loskos with some more shout outs for you. Good morning, Rosedale Roadrunners. I'm really excited to share the students that are doing so great. Their teachers wanted to highlight them because they are working so hard. So for Mrs. Mike's class, we have Via, Ian, Gabriella, Addison, Jamis, Liliana, and Bella W. have completed and turned in all of their assignments on time. For Ms. Pilar's class, these students have shown tremendous effort to finish every single Google Classroom assignment since we began our online learning. She wants to thank you for your hard work, and they are Sophie, Abel, Lily, Mark, Gavin, Catherine, Michael, Claire, Isabella, Zoe, Xander, Jocelyn, John, and Anthony. Congratulations to you. Every single assignment, that's amazing. And for Miss Corona's class, she wants to give a shout out to Keegan Miguel and to Natalie Lieber for going above and beyond. And for Miss Shopper's class, she wants to also recognize these students for going above and beyond and what is required of them by completing the bonus questions for social studies. And that is Nora, Landon F, Phoenix and Cadence. And finally for Ms. Shopper's class, she's very proud of Brandon Garcia who's completed all of his assignments while his family is in the middle of packing up to move to Northern California. We are definitely gonna miss you, Brandon. Have a great week, everyone. Be kind and be brave.